Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Urban currently up 2-1 over range in the BSL 17 Hasu League Finals. Upper left hand corner now we have range starting as the orange Protoss, bottom right hand corner. We have Urban starting as the blue Zerg. I feel like this map has been won by Zerg more times than not. Is Neo Dark Origin. Previous game, if you guys caught it, I I guess I will tr I this is the thing. Range is a much like by many, 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 many miles an hour. Range is a better player than I am. So I trust his game sense in particular in the previous match, but honestly, I feel that if ranged dropped that cybernetic score, held out, protected that observer well, and shielded up for just a minute, I think he was still in a strong position. That is, uh, especially with Urban not saturating the additional bases, I think he, I think what might have been a presumption there is I think he might have presumed there were more bases down. I don't know, I want to hear, uh, maybe I'll talk to Urban about that one, but a great, I will say, Urban with a fantastic drop. That was, honestly, the game-winning condition, where I thought he should go after the gateways, going after the tech won him the game, so ignore me. Ignore the ignorant commentator. Anyway, we got a spawning pool first. With a nine pool, we do have a gateway opener once again. Probe making its way across. It is a two-player map, so we'll be able to scout that rapidly. I kind of like the nine pool opener on two-player maps like Neo Sylphid, because then you don't have to worry about problems like cannon rushes and all sorts of other shenanigans. Drone starting to cycle its way out. It's a blockade. Oh, this is cute. Blockading the ramp to deny ranged information. Range trying to pull back and use the... He's got to be a little bit befuddled here. This is interesting, because this kind of puts Range in a scenario where he's like, what am I up against? He has to presume this isn't a 12 hatchery. That has to be the presumption here. So he's holding right this second. Is he going to drop a forge in response? The probe now sneaks in, sees the eggs morphing. You know what would have been crazy is if he actually morphed drones instead of zerglings right there? And actually range so paranoid that he just let that hatchery build. And the Zerglings are now in flight. We have the Zelda in the way. And that's really going to force range to probably drop a forge first. Yeah. To create that full block. See if the Zerglings are able to take that left-hand corner. And we'll see if range is aggressive and goes for the Nexus behind this. Overlord cycling forward. Oftentimes this is an indicator that Zerg is planning on being aggressive. Zergling's currently looking for an angle, now surrounding. External Zealot goes down, now it's four. That probe gonna get wiped out as well, now just two, but two manage to sneak in. So the annoyance continues. Pylon dropped at the third base that Urman was thinking about taking. I kind of like that play from ranged. And are the Zerglings gonna be able to get back and it looks like they're not gonna be able to stop? Well, maybe, ranged is very delayed now. He's got some additional cells. He's going to move that one out to the front. The, this is also delaying additional Nexus grabs. The probe's having to do some dance there. Probe moving back in to cycle things up. It looks like those Zerglings have finally been taken care of. We're going to need some additional Zerglings out from Urban to potentially deal with that Zealot. He does have that spotted now with that Overlord, but this is a very late Nexus from ranged. So Urban with the economic lead currently dropping that third hatch, the Zealot moving in. Unfortunately, with that hatchery ends up having a massive amount of health, but we got more Zealots making their way across the field for ranged. So wanting to make the best of a bad situation and try to get some counter economic disruption. Sometimes I wonder about the economics of dropping sunken colonies at this stage. And Urban floating a lot of minerals uncharacteristically. It looks like an overlord got missed somewhere in the midst of all this, maybe on that delayed hatchery. So now that natural being denied, Urban still is a. Oh, and this is a lot of zealots here at the natural as well. So the third being built, but this is going to be, and this is now enough zealots. That's going to be four zealots to attack that hatchery, and that's going to be a uh, a necessary amount. Yeah, an overlord was missed by Urban in the midst of all this, so that's going to be a dead third. So all of the good work he did earlier to delay that natural expansion has now completely evaporated, and we got a third hatch in base at the natural expansion, at least is it going to be a cancellation last second? That would be one redemption. So cancels it at least to get those resources back. And it could have been worse. That natural expansion hatchery could have gotten wiped out. But finally, the overlords are finished. 
and the Zerglings are being produced, but Urban, with an uncharacteristic Overlord miss in the early stages here. The Zealots trying to do what they can. The Zerglings waiting to group up and flood around this. Getting a good uh, surround here. So Zealots not going to escape, at least one of them not going to, and honestly, I don't know that the rest of them are going to have that much success. That third immediately being redropped. And the Overlords, or I'm sorry, the Zealots having a lot of trouble dealing with this. That probe going to be able to sneak back in and get some scouting information, however. And this is a very scattered build from Urban now. Zealot was able to plant back here, but he's going to see, critically, a complete lack of gas. And we already have a Stargate finished. Nearly finished. Halfway. So Urban very, very delayed on anti-air. Looks like another hatchery. Wow, three hat. So usually you see... Uh, a six hatch replay with mutalisks. I've yet to see a six hatch replay with hydralisks. Probe doing what it can to be frustrating. Pays for it with its life. The zealot going to go ahead and exchange the zerglings at the third. I think Urban a little bit scattered now. Needs to get the hydralisks done down and needs to get. Honestly, should probably drop uh, drop his natural expansion gas to have sufficient gas to get the hydralisks out to deal to honestly speed up everything in between the zerglings starting to flood forward unfortunately zerglings do not distract corsairs so a dead overlord here second dead overlord most likely on the front and this hydralisk then coming very very late one gas is sufficient off a uh, two base to build a good amount of hydralisks but let's see if that corsair even go like honestly just work on the overlords yeah, okay, going after that. It should get f two easily free Overlord kills out of this. And honestly, Urban kind of, I will say, uh, seems to donate them quite often at this stage. But let's see if Urban turns this around. He's got a, he droned heavily. So all of a sudden, he's got six hatcheries, a massive amount of workers. A massive amount of workers. So what he could do is he could go ahead and SimCity himself up, drop a couple Sunken Colonies and just try to go for fast defensive lurker tech in the space. This overlord probably going to get wiped out. And I'm curious what ranges initiate he's what he's going to do in response to this. So he, he sees the two hatcheries here. He, he's going to be able to migrate and, and find that. And on top of that, find a third and just see a massive amount of hatcheries and a massive amount of drones. And this is what, eight zerglings on the front to deal with the, all of these zealots. So let's see if he bothers with the timing. Or if he just starts wandering his way out. Yeah, he's going to move out immediately upon seeing this. And now, maybe with some... Maybe with a nice Sim City and some Sunken Colonies and some... He's going to need more Cruft at the Natural, honestly. The Corsair's doing a good job of abusing angles. The Zealot's holding short. Looks like they want to wait for plus one weapons and the Zealot leg speed. If Urban manages to crash on top of this, he's trying to filter in a lot of troops very, very rapidly. To repel this attack and it might pay off so urban i gotta say has recovered beautifully considering all of the problems that happened in the early stages of the match beautiful recovery hydralis upgrades not there yet the zealots now going to storm down into the third let's see if the drones just go for a pull this is a good amount of hydralisks to engage this yeah and the zealots actually going to pull out and i if i was ranged honestly i'd be that's got to be frustrating. I'm wondering if Ranged missed some beats in his build order as well. Layer timing's going to be spotted there. Gateway Flood on top of everything else. Cannon defensively in the main. A little bit early for this. Forge, double Forge to spin those upgrades, getting that plus one armor. He does have three High Templar that are building a lot of Storm. But Urban on the six hatcheries now and getting a third gas very quickly could make a really rapid transition to late game hive potentially and maybe grab a quick fourth at his current supply count. So moving up, evicting those zealots from the three o'clock location and yeah, grabbing a fourth. Wow. Amazing. So I, I'm going to shock this up to range's natural expansion being as delayed as possible. But Urban able to find a way to... I'm astounded to, to sneak... What is this? Okay, for a second there was just a black hole for an upgrade. But we got a lot of High Templar. And a bunch of Psy Storms, well placed, could shift this game immediately. So five High Templar making their way forward. Zealot streaming up 
the ramp. These Hydros need to dodge. Great first Psy Storm. Solid second Psy Storm as well. And more to follow. Archon morphing. We got some more Hydros trying to sweep in to get a flank. But these Hydros thus far have taken quite the beating. And now the Zealots starting to do what damage they can. More reinforcements creeping up. This is going to be huge, and honestly, could be the difference in this match right now. More Psy Storm dropping. And Hydralis that were reinforcing able to sweep from behind, and none of the target fire was on that hatchery in between. And so it looks like Urban is going to be able to defend, and with that, he's even the supply count. He's ahead in workers, and up four bases. Ranged is just now dropping his third behind this. But he's got to be wary because Erdmon actually has a surging supply count. And the upgrades are solid in range's favor, but they're not terrible for, for Ur... Oh, well, there he's still just not finishing plus one weapons. But yeah, it looks like he's going to go ahead and drop that Queen's Nest and make his way straight to Hive. Skip kind of uh, did a weird scooping out of the middle game altogether. Needs to get Overlord Speed somewhere in the midst here just to be somewhat wary. But man, Ranged has to be pulling his hair out because the early game damage he was able to do by delaying that third hatch, that was significant damage. And to not be able to turn that into a massive mid-game lead, I would be very aggravated if I was him. Cannons defensively going up. We have a good amount of gateways. Solid count range for ranged upgrading. We do have some observers able to take the front. We don't have Lurker Tech out yet, just finishing research. Lurker is very powerful on this map and honestly can be a huge swing because of the narrow ramps. Psy Storm's same deal, although the Psy Storm not as effective, I guess, on that high ground of the third. Range maybe wanting to try to pick a fight over these ramps so he can abuse the Psy Storm is maybe, yeah, I was moving up to go ahead and grab a fourth. The probe gets picked off, unfortunately for him. He guided the Hydralisks right to it. The Hydralisks are going to be pinned back, so Range looking to go ahead and seal up, maybe make his way into a macro game. But honestly, that might play right into Urban's game plan, because he, you can see he's, drone, he's droning up heavily and making his way to Hive Tech. And this is well ahead of a transition to Reaver for Ranged. So kind of skimping a little bit on the Lurkers. He can skimp a little bit, honestly. He's got the defensive Sutton call, and he is just relying on the fact that Range doesn't want to pick a fight over a potential Lurker landfill right there. And so Range, yeah, staging up to try to engage at this 3 o'clock base, but just camping some units along the way. The Lurker's not quite finished. Now they're going to burrow. The Observer just in time. The Zealots are going to be able to take down that Sunken Colony, but more reinforcements streaming up and exposing the High Templar. Urban not missing a beat, immediately moving up to trap these units. Psystorm is able to take out the Lurkers, but Erdmon with a nice carving attack, able to just shred Range's army. Now he's going to check top right, make sure that's not taken. He can go ahead and filter some troops to the 9 o'clock as well to make sure that's not grabbed. And Hive Tech is up. He can go ahead and get that Adrenal upgrade. Maybe even go up to Ultralist Cavern because he's got, if he grabs some of these additional bases and these gases, he's going to have a sizable gas bank to work with. The Hydro's holding short range can't defend this. His army mostly out of position. The Hydro's are easily going to be able to group pick this off and ranged all of a sudden. Yeah, forcing a cancellation right there. I would be tilted a bit if I was him at these stages. They don't know how much lag was playing into this. So ranged hurting right this second, able to clean up these Hydralis, but dropping that fourth. Urban sitting on four bases, hasn't yet grabbed top right. Looks like he's just planting a lurker right there. I'm looking to see, I'm not seeing any shuttles back here for Psy Storm drops as well. That would have been, I think, a good route to go for range on this map. We have that all important adrenal glands upgrade working for Urban in the background, at which point Zerglings are going to be absolutely terrifying. Rather than Ultralist Den, we're gonna see Defiler Mound in between for Urban, He's up 20 supply, has positions on additional bases that he can hold. And it looks like he's cycling out a drone. Uh, I'm surprised actually, he's moving the drone to the six o'clock. Army's engaging mid map on Scattershot. The High Templar are very exposed, dropping some good side storm, however, caught the observer with it, unfortunately. 
And Urban's doing a great job of cycling in and just creating chaos midfield. So one of the problems for Protoss on this map is getting locked behind these bridges with lurkers. So ranged moving that army but between, but Ar uh, but but Urban honestly just moving in absolute elite attack forces of these hydralisks peeling that army in half and picking off and gr doing great focus fire in the midst of everything so this fourth going up for ranged urban grabbing the bottom left and the top right and ranged is pinned back he's down 30 supply having to defend are the hydralisks going to try to pick this off once again they're they're moving up this is honestly enough of a hydralisk force and the upgrade's solid for urban as well this is enough of a Hydalus force where he's going to once again be able to take out this fourth. Some Zelts trying to stream in from behind, but if the Hydalus just focus fire this Nexus, yeah, Range going to GG. And wow, Range looking like he's in some trouble now. Urban now on. So that puts him up three games. This is a best of seven. One more win. And Urban is the BSL 17 Hasu League champion. We'll see if he can seal it out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.